Hello, today we're going to learn how to wire up a rib relay to the UC600. This end device is common for start stopping or turning on and off devices. As you can see here, they have two different power supplies to enable this coil here. We have the white and black wire, which would be for your 120 volts AC, and then we have the white and blue wire for the 10 to 30 volts DC. So for our scenario here with the UC600, we're going to use a 10 to 30 volts DC, so the white and blue wire. Then we also have to complete our path for our white and yellow for our common. If you come up to the UC600 here, you can see we have the white and yellow, which is our uh, common, going to our ground up here. And then we have our blue and uh, white wire that is actually going to our output. These are known as wet contacts, and these will actually provide 24 volts to enable this rib relay here. Going back down to here, you can see on the other side, we have the blue wire, which is normally closed, and we have the yellow wire, which is our common, and then we have our orange wire, which is normally open. So for this purpose here, we have a light bulb again here to simulate a, uh, a load to turn this thing on and off here. And one side of the light bulb, we have our common here. So we need to be able to complete the pass. So if you take this white wire and just put it to any of the grounds up here, I have it up here for our uh, 24 volts AC out on the ground up here, but remember they're all tied together, then that will complete the path for this circuit here. On the other one here, we have the 24 um, volts DC right here, our black wire, going to our common of our yellow wire for our actual relay uh, output here. And then on the other side of the light bulb, of the relay as well, is the orange wire that is going to the normally open. So when we turn on and off this, all we are is pretty much doing is switching the 24 volts DC from the normally uh, open to the normally closed here when we actually activate this. So for our purpose, I'm going to go ahead and enable this. You're going to see the light bulb come on here uh, with this binary output and the light coming on. So as you can see, binary output two came on. We have our light right here. And then if you come down here, this provided 24 volts to this coil and it enabled it. Since our binary output is on, now the relay is on. And as you can see, the light bulb is on right now too to simulate that we turn something on and off here. Thanks for watching.